dear Lord. Dear Lord, I know that you receive what is in my heart. Let me be inspired by your words and by the excellent. Dear Lord, I know that you receive what is in my heart. Let me be inspired by your words and by the actions of your Son, Jesus. Guide me to make sacrifices this Lenten season in the spirit of self-denial. Help me to show greater attention to you and to those around me who need my help. Help me to believe that you will grant me this because of the sacrifice Jesus made for me. Amen. Please stand. My friends, I welcome you here to Mass at St. George. We begin our prayer together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's ask that the Lord will bless us, especially at times when we get frustrated. We hear in the first reading today of the people are getting really frustrated because they've been wandering around and around and around in the desert, and they haven't gotten anywhere. And so they start complaining to Moses. And so Moses brings their complaints to God. And God isn't too keen when we start complaining. So let's ask that the Lord, that he will help us in moments of our frustration so that we will always put our faith and our trust in him. Lord Jesus, you came to bring us healing. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to bring us forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave your life so that we may live. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, grant us perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow both, both in grace and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. And in punishment, the Lord set out among the people Sarah's serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses, Moses accordingly made a ser bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond, O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. The nations shall revere your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die.
Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. May God's word dwell in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Jesus told the people, You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, just try to imagine that you're one of those Israelite people with Moses. They've been freed from slavery. That's a good thing. They've left Egypt, and now they're free. And Moses is going to lead them to the promised land. And they keep going. And they keep going. And they keep going, but they're not reaching the promised land. In fact, the Bible says that they were out there wandering around for 40 years. 40 years may not have been literally 40 years, but in the Bible, 40 always stands for a very long time. So they're out there, and they're trying to get to the promised land, and along the way, they're getting hungry. You can imagine. So God gives them manna from heaven, and it's good for a while, but then after a while, they get tired of it. And now, here we are, we heard in the first reading, where they're complaining, not only are they hungry, but they don't like the food that they have. They don't like the menu that God has given them. So God says, I think I need to teach these people a lesson. And these snakes come and bite the people. And some of them die. And a lot of them got sick. So what does God use as a symbol for their healing? He uses, he tells Moses, make a bronze serpent, okay? Stick it in the ground. And anyone who looks at the serpent will get be healed. So they have to look up. They have to look up to see this, this bronze serpent. And that's how they get their healing. We have to look up too. When we see Jesus on the cross, we realize that he was lifted up on the cross. When Jesus refers to being lifted up in the gospel, he's not talking about the resurrection. He's talking about being lifted up on the cross, the place where he died for us. And it is from there that we receive our healing too, just like the Israelites in the old days did. So when we look up to the cross, we receive the healing that we need. You know, Jesus is, is really kind of touching on some things here in this gospel that uh, the people in his time weren't too sure about because he says, he uses the term a couple times. He says, I am. Well, who are you? I am. I am what? Right? There's always something after that, right? There's always something. You might say, I am a student at St. George. I am a father. I am a grandmother. I am something else. Well, God referred to himself in the Old Testament back when in Moses' days. He told, you go f tell the Pharaoh of Egypt to free my people because I am. I am. I am what? Well, if you're a student at St. George and you're a grandfather or 
grandmother or mother or father or you're a, a steel worker or you're a lawyer or you're a, an attorney or an accountant, whatever. I am a priest. So what is God saying? I am, I am everything. That's what God is. God is everything. God is everything and all in one. And it's in that confidence then that Jesus could say as the son of the father in heaven, I am. I am everything. And Jesus is everything that we need. We may have frustrations in our life like the Israelites did in the old days. We may have times when our, our, our desires aren't satisfied. They were hungry, but we're hungry for a lot of different things. Not just food, but we're hungry for a good education. We're hungry for a good life. We're hungry for all kinds of things that we hope for. We've got all kinds of hungers. But if we allow ourselves to trust in Jesus, he will fulfill everything. Jesus says, I am. And he wants us to be a part of his everything. So let's uh, offer our prayers together. I ask that you please come forward for our petitions. Please stand. We also pray for the intentions of Mary Scudella and for Sybil Trustius. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness and peace, we ask that you hear the prayers of your people. Bless us, Lord, so that we may always look up to you, Lord, on the cross and see the glory that brought us salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good that we've all got to holy church. Amen. O Lord, we offer you this sacrifice of reconciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our sins and direct our hearts to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your love, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We now remember everything that Jesus did for us the night before he died on the cross, when he gave us his body and blood so that we could share in this meal at any time that God's people gather. Oh, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, with our families, our classmates, our friends, our teachers, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to pray so that we would be able to speak to God our Father just as he spoke to our Father. And so we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer one another a sign of Christ's love and peace. Okay, all eyes up here. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus our Lord, his body broken on the cross and his blood poured out for us. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So I invite all those who are watching online to take a moment now and to make that special prayer as you make an act of spiritual communion, as you ask that Jesus come into your heart now, so we also turn our heart over to the Lord and we offer him all of our prayers and petitions.
Together we stand and pray. Almighty God, grant that, always seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass has ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everyone, for joining us online and here in real life. And um, students, uh, have a seat because we're going to have reconciliation today. So please get comfortable.